Hello, 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 and welcome to Nana's Crochet Ideas. I am your host, Terry, and today I'm here to talk about a couple of different challenges. So we're going to start off with the washcloth challenge. Now this was put out by Jane at Scraptastic Yarns. Um, I don't know exactly when, but it was a little while ago. And the washcloth challenge is for you to make washcloths and donate them to the Wings Foundation, which you can send them to Rose Likes Crochet if you've never been to her channel. Her channel where she talks about wings and all the different projects that they have going on because they have a different item that they ask for each month throughout the year. So she has that list. Um, that will be linked down in the description box below, as will Jane's um, video about the washcloth challenge. Now, they're not collecting washcloths. It's actually washcloths and kitchen uh, scrubbies. And it is collected in the month of October. So you have until the end of September to make them and ship them out to Rose and then she will make sure they get delivered. Now Wings supports the Chicago area. I don't know that they go outside of that area, but that's her, her area, her foundation that she uh, supports very much supports it. She talks about it all the time. She has videos about it all the time and what she sends all the time. So, um, in the description box below is going to be Jane's uh, video on the, her challenging us to make the washcloth. Rose likes crochet her channel and where she talks about wings and what the, uh, items they need each month. And then also will be linked the wings uh, website so that you can go there and check them out yourself. Now, Rose does say in her video that if you um, have, all right, let me back up a little bit. Wings supports women and men who have been abused and in an abusive relationship and helps them to change their mindset so that they don't go back to one and they um, learn life skills and all that to so when they graduate the program, they're given these items to help them make it out on their own. Now, um, we had an agency here that supported these women and men. I volunteered with them for a while and then I worked for them for a few years. Um, I highly support this type of organization but ours went out of business. They stopped doing the shelter and everything. So I don't know if they've gotten a new one because, you know, usually it's kept secret. I haven't really checked into if a new agency has picked up that and now does it. So I don't, as far as I know, I don't have one in my area, but I will send my washcloths I make out to Rose and she can do it to hers. The one thing that I would caution you about is if you have a uh, agency in your area that you would like to um, support or send donations to is to check and make sure number one that they accept donations and number two what do they do with those donations and the reason I say that is uh, two reasons mainly. One is Jane talks about in her video that um, she does have a shelter in her area and they do accept donations, but they turn all the donations over to the Salvation Army. Now, of course, the Salvation Army sells to whomever goes in the, their shops. Um, the people who go to the shelter who are in the program get out. They get a voucher for Salvation Army and then they can go there and purchase uh, whatever the voucher value is, items for their uh, future. 
So basically, if you were to donate to them, it's not specifically going to people who are in an abusive relationship, have been in an abusive relationship, or who are trying to get you know, get through the process. And if that's okay with you, that's great. If it's not, when I donate to um, that type of an agency, I want to make sure it's going to who I'm intending it to go to. The second reason I suggest that you check into it is that um, if any of you have been following me since the beginning, in the beginning I was making scarves to donate to an organization called um, Handmade for You. Um, I read all about it. I thought it was a great organization. I 100% supported them. Um, I started making scarves because that's their primary thing that they want is scarves that they hand out to the women as they move forward into their new life. And um, I ended up not supporting them. And the reason being that they require you to use their patterns only to make the scarves that you send them. And the reason that I made that decision is because I believe, well, I don't believe, but it's a fact that we're all different. We all have different tastes. We all have different likes. We all have, we're just different people. And I truly wanted for um, those women to get something that was special to them. Granted, Handmade For You does say that the women, most of the women there, and of course there are men sometimes who are abused. So I do not intend to exclude them. But Handmade For You suggests that they these people have never had something handmade for them, and so it's something really meaningful. And I thought, that's great, you know? But... I also believe that as individuals, we're going to have different tastes and they should have a variety and they did not. So based on that and only that, I made the decision not to send my scarves. Besides that, none of my scarves were made with their patterns. I think they have somewhere between three and five patterns of both crochet and knit. So they have three to five knit patterns and three to five crochet patterns for you to choose from. Um, and the majority of them used fur on the ends, which I personally don't care to work with fur. Probably at the ends it would be okay, but um, each of my scarves that I made were different. Each and every one of them were totally different from the other one. And that being because I believe we're all different and we have different things that we like. And I feel like they should be able to choose something that's meaningful to them. If they don't really like it and they get it, they may take it and never use it. They may take it, throw it away. Um... And that's my only thing. I understand that is my prejudice or my whatever you want to call it. And I understand that not everyone's going to agree with me. And if you don't agree, that's fine. Please don't um, not participate based on my personal choices. But I believe that as different people, and because I work there, I know that there is a wide variety of people who go into those places. They don't all want the same thing. Um, Handmade for You, I did talk to her about it a little bit, and she said that that way people didn't fight over them. Which, okay, I, I can kind of understand that. But I still feel very strongly that people should have a choice and have options. And that's why I chose not to do it. I still have a whole big plastic zipper bag that um, is full of my scarves. And when I find a place that touches my heart to send them, they will go there. But that's why I suggest 
that you check into what they accept, what they don't accept, and what they do with the items. Again, my personal suggestion, you do not have to follow it. Okay, so that is the one um, challenge. Now, I am combining that challenge with another challenge that's out there. And the other challenge is hashtag Dollar Tree 10 Yarn. That was created by Carrie's Crochet and Craft, and I will link her um, channel video on it down below. Now, her um, challenge was for April 1st through April 30th, and she wanted you to buy 10 yarns from the Dollar Tree and make something or multiple things with it. Uh, Jane also has put out a video with that hashtag, and uh, she's doing her project. It's current. Um, so I'm going to join on to that, and her video will be down in the description box as well. I'm joining on to that, and so I went to Dollar Tree and I bought a bunch of cotton so that I can make all these wash rags. So let's look at what I got. So I bought two of each of these. So we've got, these are Premier Just Cotton. They are 104 yards, 2.1 ounces. So I, although it is soft, I don't know if it's as soft as home cotton. Premier home cotton or premier home, I, I don't know. Um, but it is soft and it is much softer than say peaches and cream. Now peaches and cream, I can go to my Walmart and get this same ounce for over two dollars and these are a dollar each so they're a bargain they're softer than peaches and cream by far and um, they do have actually quite a big selection so I bought two of these two white and two cream two turquoise two orange two yellow two pink, and two of this Christmas green. Now there should be another green in here. Did I show you the olive green? I don't know if I did or not. So this is olive and this is Christmas green. So I got two of each of those. And then I got only one, oh sorry, and two burgundy. I've had to redo this video several times, so I know the colors. <laughs> so then I own, they only had one of these. This is a, a lighter orange, and it is called Sunset. And then I only got one of these, uh, each of these marls. Now this is a, black orange mist. That's pretty. This is a burgundy mist. Also nice. This is a Christmas tree mist. And this one was uh, cranberry mist. So they're all pretty. Obviously there's more than 10 there. I think there's seven colors of two each and then five of one each so um but i'm going to make my wash rags out of those um if any of you would like to join this the either of these please do so all the information you need will be in the description box below and all the links that you will need to get any more information that you want um, and again, I will say, if you want to participate in this and you do not put out your own content and you don't want to put out your own video, you can send me a picture of what you've done, what the challenge was, and I will include it in my videos for you. So thank you everyone for spending this time with me. I'm sorry this is a little bit longer of a video than normal. I felt like I had a lot to talk about. 
Um, may God bless you. Have a wonderful couple of days, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye now.